Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy New Year, my first night back in the new year. Thanks everybody for getting into 2023. Panini Prism Football, six box, half case, pick your team number 11 from a fresh case right here. A lot of great stuff in here, all card ship. Big thanks everyone right here for making it happen. Appreciate you hanging with me on a Sunday. Tristan with double last spot mojo. He has the uh, Broncos and he has Giants. Picked up those teams before we pulled the remaining team. So if you have Prism 83 next to your name, that means you won that team in that particular fill. All right, now it's sort of an awkward sized case here. So I'm gonna pop this open over here. Where did I put my knife? No. Falling out of practice a little bit here. I just had it. Oh dear. Now oh, there it is. Losing my mind. All right. So there's six boxes I'm going to grab and put right here. Yeah, I've got some new toner here. Someone wants to change that toner during my during my winter break, which was awesome. All right, so we've got six boxes right over here. We're going to roll the die. We'll go one, two, three for this stack right here, and then four, five, six for that stack right over there. And it's four. One, two, three four, five, six. So this half will save for break 12, which we could get to tonight if you want to. So this side we will do right now. And ladies and gentlemen, we've got, a, we've got the wild card weekend lined up. So we'll talk about all of those matchups throughout this break. First, uh, let's do schedule first. Saturday, the 13th, so this Saturday, we've got Cleveland at Houston on uh, NBC. Miami at Kansas City, Peacock. So I'll start signing up for that. Sunday, three games. Pittsburgh at Buffalo, CBS. Green Bay at Dallas on Fox. Rams at Detroit on NBC. And then uh, one Monday night matchup, Philadelphia at Tampa Bay on ESPN ABC. Ooh, that would be nice, Tristan. Try to look, look for, uh, he's on the box too, right? All right, so Omar was asking before the break who we got in that Cleveland-Houston game. That game is going to be good. I wouldn't be sorry, surprised if that game might be the best game of the, of the weekend. Well, who does everyone have? Either straight up or against the spread. Houston is only plus two. I might take Houston at plus two. Nix is saying CJ all day. Yeah, g -Lo's at Cleveland-Houston will be the, the good game nobody's... Nobody's going to be talking about that game. Omar's going Cleveland. Although, I was telling a story when I was, when I was in Vegas. I had a, after I withdrew some money from my sports, uh, mobile sports betting account, I still had a, a little bit left, and I did put that on Cleveland to win the Super Bowl. At plus... Uh, 2,800. Cleveland, but close. That's true. Brown's defense is pretty good. All right. Uh, what's different with this prism this year? A little bit of a design change. I think white background of the teams, that feels like that pops a little bit more. And here's Christian Watson. Packers are a playoff team. And there are two autographs a box. 
Simon with the Packers. Tristan's thinking if Tank Dell healthy, we'll go Texans. We got Cedric Tillman, speaking of the Browns, 13 out of 249. Yeah, which Joe Flacco is going to show up? A lot of, uh, a lot of Browns fans on the interwebs and elsewhere seem to be wondering when that Joe Flacco, uh, when that other shoe is going to drop. Here's uh, Parker Washington to 25, Jaguars. That's for Steven. And here's Hunter Henry for the Patriots. That's out of 99. That's for Nick Stover. Or the, does the Joe Flacco Cinderella story continue? There's Darnell Wright, purple to 125. And that will be for the Bears. That's going to be for Nick. It's to 125. We got Jaron Hall to 175 for the Vikings. And that will be for Douglas. Champ Bailey to 225. Jameer Gibbs, rookie card for William. And Tristan has the Broncos, one of his last spot mojo teams. We've got Jerome Bettis, 10 out of 49. And that will be for Michael G and the Steelers. Michael Gallucci Steelers. Josh Palmer to 75. Chilo saying Texans lost to the Browns a few weeks ago, actually. Revenge game? And we got a relic back here, I think. Yeah, relic and auto, Josh Downs. Are these one per case? Are they more per case? Jersey and auto for the Colts. That's going to be for Tristan. We've got Kayshawn Boot, 6 out of 99. Oh, Jason had like 3 in a case, but typically one. Okay, well maybe we'll find one of those ones that have more. With Dak Prescott, red wave to 149. Any one of ones? We This is the 11th break, so we must have done 10 half case breaks. Do we see any gold vinyls or anything like that? Here's uh, Shaq Leonard to 225, purple ice. There's Sam Laporta. Hopefully he'll be healthy. All right, that was box one. I'll do an auto recap at the end. All right, next matchup, Dolphins at Chiefs. That's the Saturday night game. Uh, according to this offshore book, Chiefs are the uh, home favorites at minus three and a half. Yeah, Gilo's wondering, are the are the Floridian uh, gold bonds are out of five now? In prison? It's still a train whistle hit. Puka True Gold Auto to ten, that's pretty cool. Is this a Tyree Kill revenge game? I don't know if he's gonna be completely healthy. The Chiefs aren't what they aren't what they used to be.
Well, their defense is pretty good. But Miami has struggled with with teams that are like good like good teams. They've struggled, except for maybe the cow that Cowboys win was big. But I think if you see any of the other playoff teams that they've played, they've struggled with any of the sort of quote unquote good teams. Tonight included. That's true. Oh man, Taylor Swift and playoff football? You may as well just have her do the national anthem, G Lo. You think they'll do that? All right, box two of six. And there's Keon White, Purple Ice, to 225. <laughs> no, she can't see. I'm sure, I'm sure she'll find a way. Gilo is making a joke about how they have to Photoshop in the football in Kadarius Tony's hands. That was a good one. Here's Dalvin Cook Jets edition to 249. Wow, are the Lakers really gonna beat the Clippers? 103.98? 27 seconds left and counting. Oh no. They let Kawhi hit that, or James Harden hit that three, now they're only two points ahead. You got Russell Wilson to 75. It'll be for Tristan and the Broncos. It's Jake Ferguson to 175. No one has any no one has early thoughts on Miami at Kansas City. I'm not entirely sure either. My gut says the Chiefs, but I would like to see that get down to minus three. I don't know if that's gonna happen. Um, Sunday games, three games on Sunday, early game Steelers at Bills. Bills are minus 10. Tristan's taking KC at home. Here's Robert Woods, Blue Wave to 199. And I think that's our first auto in this box. It's Roshan Johnson, Red Wave rookie auto for the Bears. Next over. Gilo, Chiefs and is taking the Chiefs as well. Bills for sure and the cover. Yeah, I think I think I'd probably lay the minus ten as well. I think I have to, I have to go do some research. I have a bunch of notes on like on like wild card trends and stuff like that. Well, I'm, we'll be talking about that all week for sure. Yeah, Casey for Omar as well. Middle game on Sunday: Packers at Cowboys. Cowboys are minus seven. And they're at home, and they're beasts at home. I mean, we're laying the minus seven and a half with Dallas, right? Here's Adam Thielen to 249. 52 out of 249. There's a Bijan. He had a nice year this year. Gilo's saying, hey, if Josh Allen keeps turning the ball over, like, to pull it, pull it off as in to cover or pull it off as in to win? Sean Maddock gets the uh, Adam Thielen. Nick Chubb to 49. Yeah, Tristan wants to take the Packers and the spread, but CD's next level right now. I mean, they're a completely different team at home, Dallas. On the road, they, 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 look, they look a little shaky, but they're pretty dominant at home. 20, I think they went undefeated at home this year. There's my guy, Devontae Adams, going to the Raiders. Alec with my Raiders. There's Prismatic George Kittle, Redemption. Did I miss a CJ base? CJ base. 
Let's see, CD. I don't see one. There is a DJ Shark, but no CJ Stroud. All right. Oh, was is that is that your guess? Maybe that was your redemption guess. Setson Bennett, Tank Dell, Jalen Card, those are redemptions. All right, the redemption here is Tank Dell. Rookie patch, patch autographs. Another patch autograph, Prism Silver. Nice, that'll be for the Texans. Where are my mini post-it notes? That's our second auto right there. There's Asante Samuel Jr. to 99. Daniel Carlson to 175. Yeah, that uh, that CJ yeah Tank Dell combo is pretty good. Sam Laporta. All right, third box. All right, late game on Sunday. Uh, Rams at Detroit. Who does everyone have there? Lions are minus three. Now the Lions were a little, they look good today. But leading up to this game, they felt a little shaky. This is the Rams. Rams have been pretty hot to close out the season. Rams going into Detroit. They've got some playoff experience. They got Super Bowl experience. They got a healthy Matthew Stafford. Is Laporta going to be out for that game? Obviously, McVeigh has familiarity with Jared Goff. As does that defense, I'm sure. Well, a lot of the players in that defense might still have done work against Jared Goff. A tough one. I'm not sure who to take on that. There's Mika Fitzpatrick, 49 out of 99 for the Steelers. That'll be for Michael. Michael, I'm sure, is going to be rooting for the Steelers to upset. But I don't know. It's going to be Kenny Pickett at quarterback? Mason Rudolph at quarterback? Derek Hall to 175. Uh, and Hunter as the Will Levis. Gilo might be right. I might be tempted to take the Steelers at plus 10, though. I'm not sure if they're going to win, but... It's Patrick Queen to 149 for the Ravens. That's going to be for Joe. Lakers escape for, Lakers beat the Clippers by three. There's Lucas Van Ness to 199. There's a Anthony Richardson.
Mason Rudolph seems to be holding down the fort. It really does seem like he's holding down the fort. The fort. Baker's got really lucky there. And we got Tanner McKee, rookie auto for the Eagles. Well, speaking of the Eagles, that's our very next uh, next game to look at. Eagles at Buccaneers. Buccaneers short home dogs, plus two and a half. Can anyone trust the Eagles right now? There's Tyler Smith to 60. Yeah, the rookie wide receiver class, speaking of rookie wide receivers, there's Jordan Addison right here too. It's a lot of fun names. Tristan going box, huh? To, to win outright as well? Here's Stephon Gilmore to 49. I mean, with, with apologies to all the Eagles fans that work here at Jaspies, my cousin is also an Eagles fan. I mean, I just can't with any confidence. Here's a Tyreek Stevenson to 99. I can't trust the Eagles until they, they prove otherwise. Yeah, G-Lo could see the Bucks winning. I mean, who was, who was mentioning earlier? I think it was Terry who was mentioning earlier today at the beginning of the show. He's like, no one's really talking about the kind of season there's K.J. Henry. It's going to be for the commanders, for Oliver. No one's really talking about the... Uh, and that's 24 out of 49, Oliver. No one's talking about Baker Mayfield and the job that he's done in Tampa Bay. J.K. Dobbins, Purple Ice, 225. But I think people kind of lulls Buccaneers just because of the division that they're in. Prismatic Justin Field. There's speaking of Baker Mayfield. There he is, 67 out of 249. That's going to be for Alec and the Buccaneers. There's AJ Terrell to 99. And we're halfway through the break. Three boxes in, three boxes to go. All right, just pulled up the uh, the Buccaneers game log. Who have they who have they beaten this season? D. Wallace has the Bucks. Let's see. Week one, they beat the they beat Minnesota twenty to seven. Then they beat the Bears twenty seven to seventeen. Lost the Eagles twenty five eleven. Beat the Saints 26 to 9. Then they had an early bye week. Then they rattled off four losses in a row. They lost to the Lions 20 to 6, or 6 to 20 from the Buccaneers' perspective. Lost to the Falcons 13 to 16. Lost to Buffalo 18 to 24. And lost by two points to Houston before beating Tennessee 20 to 6. They lost to San Francisco 14 to 27. They lost to the Colts by a touchdown. And then they rattle off four wins against Carolina, at Atlanta, at Green Bay, 
in a Week 15 matchup. They beat Jacksonville 30-12. to There might not have been a Trevor Lawrence there. Then they lost to New Orleans 23-13. Uh, and then they beat Carolina 9-0. Hmm. Hmm. Not sure if that's really convincing. Uh, but then the Eagles have not been looking good, so. All right, behind Jackson Smith and Jigba is Phil Sims. Sensational signatures. That's going to go to Tristan in the Giants, last spot mojo. Yeah, Tristan's saying there's got to be a monster lurking somewhere in this first half. We got Minka Fitzpatrick to 149. That's for Michael Steelers. T.J. Watt, and Kyle Duggar to 75. I guess Steelers have to also think about what that T.J. Watt left the game. And I don't know what his status is. He did not return to the game. It's Desmond Ritter. 92 out of 99 for the Falcons. That's for Tristan. Davis Mills to 149. That's for Nick and the Texans. Tyree Wilson, 160 at 225 for my Raiders. I think he closed the season okay. I think next year will be. He was coming off a foot injury. Foot surgery, I think. Foot surgery, knee surgery, something like that. And uh, so he was kind of slow to get into all the offseason stuff. And I think they weren't really planning on playing him that that as much as he did, it, once that all that Chandler Jones drama went down in the off season, he was kind of pressed into service a little bit earlier than anyone ever wanted him to be. So I think jury's still out, and I don't think we'll judge him too harshly this season. Hopefully, this guy is going to be okay. Uh, the Bobby Wagner will go to the Seahawks. That's going to be for Douglas. There's Portals, Anthony Richardson, and Chris Olave to 249. We got uh, Brian Breesey, Saints. It's going to be for Douglas. Bijan. Kid Reporter. We got a Juju Smith Schuster for the Patriots to 175. Uh, anyone have a Bell check take? Where does he end up? Rex was saying earlier he's been linked with the Bears. I don't think I've actually heard that particular rumor. I think some people are speculating, trying to connect the dots uh, with Tom Brady being minority owner of the uh, Raiders. Some people are thinking, oh, maybe he ends up there. I, don't think he, I think people are just seeing the Tom Brady connection, and that's it. There seems to be more serious chatter um, about uh, – I felt like there was a card behind there. More serious chatter about him going to the Chargers. Here's out of 249. There's a Kalijah Kansi. I don't know. Is he, is he going to go to the Chargers? The Spanos family, who owns the Chargers, I feel like have been, you know, are rumored to be notoriously cheap. Well, they've paid some guys over the years, but maybe with the front office. It's a 75. So I wonder if... Uh, 
I wonder if the charged are really in it. Gilo says he retires. He is old. Uh, I also heard uh, some chatter about Pete Carroll maybe reevaluating his uh, his career. But I think there was a report that I saw when I was reading during my dinner break where I think he says he's coming back. He's, he's contracted through the 2025 season, I want to say. He's got two more seasons. Yeah, everyone thinks... Uh, yeah, he and Belichick. Yeah, he is Belichick is having trouble keeping up the league, says Gilo. He hasn't really. I think he controls most of the drafting, and I think his drafts haven't been that great over the last few years or so. People are saying that, that, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the terms of his contract is. I don't know how much time left there is on the contract. But I wonder if he, yeah, if, you know, you can't re disrespect Belichick and his achievements. I wonder if, if ownership, if Robert Kraft will just be like, listen, let's make this nice for all of us. You know, let's give you a nice golden handshake, you know, and say, hey, we're going to give you a nice cush job and, football operations or something like that and something in the front office an executive position and you know you'll be a patriot for life and influence this organization forever in different ways there's Daniel Hunter to 199 see so yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if there's some sort of like semi-retirement B. John Robinson and one of those retro looks on the car there's Rashawn Gary to 249 For CJ Stroud base, there's Preston Smith to 99. Yeah, does anyone take him after his coaching tree mess? Well, I think people would take him. They still want the tree. It's just not what the tree produces. Uh, Nick has the Texans. And the Preston Smith for the Packers, that'll go to Simon. There's a fireworks insert, CJ Stroud, and Will McDonald, 149 for the Jets. That's going to be for Steven. Jalen Waddle, prison break, and a Marcus Allen autograph. Nice. The Raiders. Speaking of Raiders running backs, the Raiders are going to have to figure out what they're going to do with Josh Jacobs. My guess is, is that... If uh, the Raiders retain Antonio Pierce as their full-time head coach, I think he would. He was saying that they want to try to work out a deal with Josh Jacobs. Where does Saquon go? Saquon's a free agent. You would think that the Giants will figure out a way to re-sign him, but for now... He's a free agent. De Derek Henry, I think, is a free agent as well. I feel like Derek Henry still has something left in the tank. To 199, there is Drake London. Oh, yeah? They're, they're like, thanks, Josh Shakes. We're bringing back Marcus Allen. Okay, that would be a Raiders y move. Here is Hayden Hurst, 166 out of 249, Carolina. Sean Maddock. There is Tyler Boyd to 49. There's our other auto right there coming up. And it's behind Silver Joe Mixon. It is Bryant Young, 144 out of 149. Sensational signature. So a couple older school guys in this box. What's Marcus Allen doing right now? 
I don't think he's, is he in, 63 years old. Did he do some broadcasting afterwards? No, I guess he didn't. Yeah, the Wikipedia page does not really have much on, on, on Marcus Allen. Yeah, maybe all the rookies are in the other half of this case. There's uh, Isaiah Pacheco to 125. Purple for the Chiefs. That's for Steven. There's a Bryce Young. Sean Maddock of Carolina. It's already going to have a new, new coach and coordinator and all that sort of stuff. Always kind of a rough thing to for young quarterbacks, but it's once. Although nowadays, I feel like quarterbacks, a lot of quarterbacks are are jumping in transfer portals or playing for two or three different colleges before they end up in the NFL nowadays, or I guess any collegiate sport. So maybe, uh, so maybe he'll be okay adjusting to all those changes. Name that tune to one ninety nine. Ryan with the Cardinals. All right, final box coming up. run some polls on follow us on Twitter at Jaspies Breaks because I might run some polls on uh, on the upcoming playoff NFL playoff games. I think that'll be pretty fun for Wild Card Weekend. Get an idea of what what people think. with this break did end up being about that's a 38 minute mark right now yeah so it did end up being about 45 minutes um, we'll go through some more orders after this I only see one order coming in but I think that person just bought a spot in that random number block so now there's only one left so we can do that right after this if someone wants to get the last spot Line that up on the schedule. Otherwise, that's that. Now, remember, there is a 10% off code going on tonight. I believe it's tonight only, I think. There's Josh Palmer, 75. So even if you don't think a break is going to happen, like a pick your team break is going to happen tonight, or whatever break, I would at least be sharp and lock in that 10% now. Because most of the stuff is going to fill and break tomorrow. But you may as well lock it in now if you're intending to join the break anyway. One out of nine. So if you're one of those people that are like, oh, Joe, I'll get a spot when it gets when it's closer. I think it's probably advantageous not to wait. Just get your spot now. That way you lock in your 10% while those other suckers are paying full price. <laughs> be, be a sharp collector, ladies and gentlemen. Go to jazbeescasebreaks.com. All right, last two autographs. We got a Gary Clark, 58 out of 99. Another sensational signature. Old Redskin. We got Richie Grant to 149. We got Javon Holland to 99 for the Dolphins. That will be for Ryan Heinz. Got a, another Shaquille Leonard to 225. I feel like we can make a Shaquille Leonard rainbow out of the ones we've hit tonight. It's another one for Tristan and the Colts.
Bijan Rod, uh, Robinson Prismatic, a Joey Porter Jr. to 249. Nice. Wow, it's begun already. They just fired the Falcons coach. I think I had a question mark by their name when we were doing the uh, the quarterback head coach uh, quarterback head coach thing Ch list chart. We're gonna monitor throughout the year or throughout the off season. There's Puka Nakua breaking records for the Rams. Nick T with that one. Got Justin Tucker to 75. So, I mean, this guy's fired too. Is Desmond Ritter fired? Are they just going to re refigure out the quarterback position at that point once the new coach is in? There's Hassan Reddick, purple to 125. There's Michael Pittman Jr. to 175. Jameer Gibbs rookie card. Bijan Robinson, Prism Break. Trey Lance to 225. Cowboys edition. Kind of weird seeing Trey Lance in a Cowboys uniform. That'll go to Dallas. That'll be for Douglas. Jameer Gibbs will go to William. And Jonathan Taylor is your autograph. So not a lot of rookie autos here. We did, did get that Tank Dell, I guess, but nothing really significant rookie auto-wise, especially rookie quarterback-wise. This is going to go to Tristan and the Colts. So maybe they're all in another castle. Maybe they're in the second half of this case, which is on jazpyscasebreaks.com right now. We've got time to do it tonight if you want to hustle. There's Justin Shorter, 5 out of 25. And that's that. There you go, gang. Looks nice. Prism football always does from year to year. Let's, let's look for some of the bigger names uh, in the second half. All right. There you go, gang. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. Happy New Year. Good to be back with you. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.